Hey everybody, Dave Williamson in the car driving. That's right, it is a rainy, cold, how cold is it? 53, that's not really cold, day here in Portland, Oregon. And I just came back from meeting a, a fellow, a, a medium, <laughs> I was going to say young fellow, no. He I, I did have a young fellow with him, he was a kid, an adult, the adults, not that old really. I guess compared to me, I'm getting older. I, I hate to, I, I don't want to admit it. I really don't. I feel like I'm, uh, I don't know, 20. So anyway, he had two Redline Hot Wheels in the blister, which I picked up, taking them home now, and we'll go look at them. But anyway, here I am in the car, and uh, I just, man, I have not been making videos lately. Why? And the reason why, I've been so busy. Oh my gosh. Busy, busy, busy. And why else? Christmas. I'm just trying to enjoy Christmas. That's right. December. I'm trying to enjoy it. I wanted to kind of ramp down business a little bit because just been this whole year. It's just been ridiculous. Busy, busy, busy. But and I'll crank it up again in January as usual. But uh, right now I'm enjoying just, uh, you know, I head out to pick up a couple of Hot Wheels, did a little Christmas shopping this morning grocery shopping earlier. Man, it's a nice day. Anyway, let's get home and make a video. What's the video topic today? Oh, a McLaren collection. That's right. I got a McLaren collection. I've got this customer who puts together, he's got these wooden boxes that hold about 12 cars. They're so beautiful. His neighbor makes them. And he, every once in a while, he decides, okay, I'm going to collect McLarens. And he'll go and get like 12 colors and he'll put them all in there and he'll really enjoy them. And then he'll decide, nah, you know what? Nah, I don't really like McLarens anymore. I think I'll go for uh, Ford Mark IVs. Yeah, that's what he does. And so uh, he usually sells me uh, whatever he's put together. And anyway, I've got that box. Let's go open that box right now. And thanks for joining me anyway. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button. And if you feel like clicking the down arrow, go ahead and smack yourself in the face or the head and that'll make me happy. Then press the like button. Thanks, thumbs up. Before I get started on opening up the box today, I've got to clear off this table where I laid out some things that I put up for sale today on my website. This is a Mattel Hotline train from 1970. This is a battery powered train with an oval track and some straight track that goes with it. That's on my website for $39, bucks, toycarcollector.com. And this is not for sale, but I think I do have one of these I can sell. These are great. These are where you display your old Hot Wheels right in there. You just put them right here on the transporter. And away you go on display. Hangs on the wall. I think I do have one of those to sell. I've got three or four of them around here. And also over here, look at this Matchbox Fire Station. Look at that. That's from what? 1968? Pretty cool. I've got a few of these. This one's for sale. It's got a wrinkled box, but these boxes are really hard to get. I don't have a minty box. Oh no, yes, I do have a minty box. So the difference being like, this one's got a crack across here that's been repaired. That's like... It's like a hundred dollars for one like that in mint condition this is about five hundred dollars so it's a pretty good deal all right here is what i'm gonna open right now it is a box of model power train pieces got these on ebay it's taken forever to get here they sent them by slow boat parcel select Jeez, louise took like three weeks to get here let's see when was it shipped does it say on there it does not say on there. Okay. Anyway, it was two lots from eBay. So there's two boxes and they just stay fastened them together. Guess I can't complain too bad because it was free shipping. Shipping can be kind of expensive. But then again, you know, you figure they added it into the cost of the postage. So I'm not sure if it's really free or not. But it was a pretty good deal. I've been obsessed with collecting this model power trains for some time now. And uh, I really need to get over it before I no longer have room in my house. Oh dear, there they are. I've got pretty much everything in this line. Getting some duplicates now. Look at they did a nice job of packing all this stuff up. Pretty darn good. What do we got? Ah, uh, we got the Union Pacific caboose. The caboose. Looks like it's new. You can tell when they're new, they still have this little foam around the inside there. And my favorite, the ore cars, Burlington Northern ore cars. The Sioux Line 
Matsu Line metal freight car. These are all metal, these models. Models are metal. Model power metal models. Santa Fe. I think I have like four of those. But hey, it was a good deal. I think it's new in the box. I thought it was new in the box. Wait a minute, I thought there was six in each one. No, there's five in each one. Santa Fe. So they were like 20 bucks a piece. Seems reasonable. Seems very reasonable. But the problem with things that are reasonable is you end up with too many of them. That's right. Too many. Because you just like keep buying them. 20 bucks a piece is like, oh, that's nothing. 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, it's nothing until you go to try to sell this stuff. I just contacted a guy on Craigslist just now who has like 22 locomotives for a thousand bucks. Probably go look at those tomorrow. Just what I don't need. I'll figure out what to do with these someday. Maybe. I just have a small track. I rarely run anything around it. I'd like to, but man, I'm just so busy. Maybe someday I'll retire, but I doubt that too. I have to have money to do that. Another Santa Fe. I love the Santa Fe, the black one. I got about eight of these now. I just like it. I like that one. Two of those. And there it is, the CP Rail. Canadian Pacific, pretty nice. And here's another flatbed. These are not that cool, but uh, I put some Hot Wheels on them. Looks pretty nice. Another Sioux Line. So we got a couple of those. And another, oh, this one's the Southern Pacific. Very nice. I don't know if I have many of this particular one. They make this ore card about seven different brand. What do they call that? Branding? The tagging? What do they call that? No, that's... All right. That is everything in that box. And here's something I got recently, too. A three-pack Burlington Northerns. I figure I need about 10 of each of these, right? About 10 of each? Yeah. And then... I, at first, I got these in the turquoise. I thought they were really cool. So I bought too many of those as well. Pretty good. Must have bought another three-pack. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? See, what happens is you start collecting them. You see the back of this box? And you got all these things to get. I finally... I finally got this one, this Alaska Quad Hopper, right there. Found that one at the local train store. That was pretty cool. Or cars, reefer, metal tank, metal box, metal locos. I got all the locos except Alaska. I do not have the Alaska loco. But I think I have pretty much everything else here except all these ore cars. There's so many different ones. You can never I don't know if you can even get all of those, but I definitely don't have all of those. And then the three pack ore cars for crying out loud. Just so much to collect. That's the cool thing about collecting is you just grab onto something and start trying to find it. If you're a Hot Wheels collector, check it out. I just got in the latest Redline Club car. You know what? It looks better in real life than it did online. It didn't seem like it was that popular. It didn't sell out like most of them do. But this thing is cool. It's the Grease Gas Monkey Garage. Is that right? Yeah. It's got gold mag wheels and little tiny ones in the front. Gosh, I'd like to open this thing. Look at that. 14, oh, they made 20,000 of them. No wonder it didn't sell out. Oh, scan and win. Maybe I could win. But look at that. Super cool. I mean, it's beautiful with the light shining on it. Of course, all these Redline Club cars are beautiful, especially with light shining on them. Very nice. All right. That was the end of part one. Trains. Yes, trains. And now, Hot Wheels. Let's open some Hot Wheels. I also have a giant box of Matchbox, a little over 100 Matchbox, to open in the next few days. I got to get back on track and start making more videos, which means I got to buy more stuff because what else am I going to talk about except stuff that comes into me? What is this? Oh my God. Look at that. I got a free gift. That is so cool. It is a, looks like it's a case for, I believe an iPhone of some sort, but look how cool that is. I'll put that on display. That's really neat. This collection is a variety of McLarens. Hey, look at this. I think I got a free towel, too. Look at that. It's a free old towel. That's right. You can always use another one of those. Not really. Actually, even my rag towels, I got them all matching because I'm a collector. I'm obsessed. Everything's got to match. I'm one of those people that when I put pop cans in the 
refrigerator, they all got to be face forward. You know what I mean? And there it is, empty box. Let's get these open. Let's see, can I do this on on video? Can I do it? I'm standing to the side. How's that working? Is that working? You know, actually, I need to be more close so I can see what I'm doing and make sure it's in focus. Because a lot of times it just isn't in focus. So I'm going to have to get behind the camera. Let's see if I can do that. Well, all right, I got plenty of room in here. I believe this collection includes a couple of repaints, if I'm not mistaken. Repaints, yes, that's right. That's what I said, repaints. I don't really deal in those, but I'm accumulating a few. Someday I'll just put them on eBay. What do we got? Right out of the gate here, we've got a purple McLaren. Purple McLaren. Purple's actually pretty hard to find. This one's got decent wheels. It's not bad. It's got a little wear on the back. A little dull base, but pretty darn nice. Would look really good with the original stickers, don't you think? It would. Purple McLaren and a free tissue. A free tissue with every order. I give away two free tissues with every order as well. Wrap up everything real nice. I do everything as best as I can. That's right, because I love Hot Wheels, and I want them to be safe. Look at this one. It's a blue McLaren, but the back door is loose. Loose, but it's not broken. Everything is there. Looks like this side's just a little too big, but it'll sit on there nice. And look at that. Pretty blue. A little sticker residue there that could stand to be cleaned off. I don't really like crooked stickers like that, but sometimes I leave them on. Looks like this one needs to be cleaned off altogether, but look at that. That's a nice one. Now, the thing about Grand Prix cars is they're not as popular as some of the other models, but they could be popular. If you saw a bunch of nice ones, you'd love them. I do. I see a lot of nice ones, and when they're all together, they're beautiful. They really are beautiful. This one is... What is it? What is it? Come on. Ice blue. Ice blue. Hey, that's a tough color, right? Ice blue. Got fake wheels on it, though. Is it the real deal? I do believe it is the real deal. We'll double check. Just got fake wheels. Well, they're not really fake. I mean, they are what they are. They're reproduction wheels from Bright Vision. These are not even Bright Vision. These are something else. I don't believe those are Bright Vision. Bright Vision wheels are nice. They, they look more realistic than those, but... You know, you're not, you can't really make a realistic original wheel. It would be cool if you could. But you couldn't tell the difference from the original. But you could tell the difference with the new wheels. They're definitely different. So you don't have to worry about getting faked out by them. They're obvious. Those are super obvious there. Here we have antifreeze. Antifreeze. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This one's a fakery. Fakeroo. Yeah, it's got an antifreeze metal flake, that's what it is. And then uh, it's been burnished or something on the base here, or painted possibly. And the rivets are wrong. So that is a repaint. But then the repaint row, antifreeze. I think there's one more in here, orange or something. Antifreeze. These will be up on the website soon, I think, maybe next month. Another blue, this one Hong Kong. Pretty nice condition, really. Blue Hong Kong. Very nice, actually. Quite nice. All original and Hong Kongish. Very good. Hong Kong blue. Hong Kong flu. Oh. Wuhan flu. No, no, no. You caught it yet? The Wuhan flu? Those pesky little Wuhans. Let's see. We've been all right here. Been all right. I've been around a bit. What do we got here? We got brown. Brown. A lovely, lovely brown at that. Look at that. That's good. Uh, let's see. Sticker residue should be cleaned off. This is one of the nicer ones here. It's pretty nice. Wheels are a little dull. Base is dull, but super nice. And I do believe that's real. I'll look a little closer before I get off this video or after I get through showing these, I'll take a quick peek, make sure they're all real, let you know what I found. I can tell. If you ever have a question about a car that you're looking at or you bought, show it to me. I can usually tell. I've seen so many cars. That's all I do. See cars. See cars roll. Oh, yeah, this one's nice. Light green. Stark on the back. Darker on the back than on the front. The wheels are kind of worn, but got a nice base. I think that's legit. Light green, that's a tough color. 
light green tough color my uh, guy was working on his rainbow did a good job decided he wanted to go in another direction with a different car he's, he likes to put rainbows together here is a red Hong Kong red Hong Kong this one's chippy 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 but good most most collectors are more than happy with a car like that but you know me I'm so spoiled I'm so spoiled 30 years over 30 years of collecting 25 let's see good 25 solid years full-time collecting Hot Wheels Matchbox Johnny Lightning Tomika Corgi Dinky not so much and now trains antifreeze again this one legit antifreeze legit got Hong Kong wheels on a US car it does look legit on first glance looks pretty good we shall see we shall quickly see as you can see here's the two colors right there see one's metal flake hot wheels don't come in metal flake they do not all right let's see here all right we're hanging in there for a good long video i like a longer video you know i'd like them to be exactly 14 minutes i think 15 minutes that would be good 20 minutes what do you think leave your comment below i need comments for crying out loud am i not asking enough questions i think that's what it is Ooh, this one's nice this one's teal aqua aqua teal probably the nicest one in the bunch that's a beauty that just might be an upgrade for my collection and I do have all the colors of McLarens. I do. I do. I do. I do. All the McLarens somewhere. I don't know where. Could be here. Could be in the warehouse. Could be in the. Who knows? Could be in the other house. Let's see. Look at that. Lime. Lime. Lime with some sticker residue. Can I be getting on the gloves and getting out the goof off? The goo gone. Get going to work on these guys. Get those cleaned up. Clean those up. Don't leave that sticker residue on there. That's just not right. It's just not right. Whoa. That one, one down. One down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, a nice green. Nice green US. Green US. Very nice. <clears throat> very, very nice. And... The downside of buying stuff is that <clears throat> is that then you got to find a place to put it and you got to go over it with a fine tooth comb you got to make sure you describe it properly if you're selling it oh look at this gold wow oh that's nice I think I see an upgrade in my future I think I do that looks nice there it is look at that huh look at that we're focusing pretty good today aren't we that's nice. I just wish I could show you these without having my hand get in the way. Maybe I'll just put them up in this. I'll just put them in this. Go like that. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Got two more. Two more. Let's get this. Get her done. Get her done. <clears throat> yes. Ooh. It's too dry in my house. It's making me all choky. Choky. i to drink more water. Oh, look at that orange enamel. Orange enamel. Is that real? Wow. I think it's real. I think it's the real deal. If it is, it's probably the nicest one I've ever seen. Good thing, too, because I paid a lot of money for all these. I actually paid a lot of money for all these. But then everything seems like a lot of money to me because I'm older. <clears throat> I still think five bucks is like real money. And 20 bucks. Oh, my gosh. Don't get me started on that. That's a lot of money. 20 bucks. Gee, even Christmas. And the last one, olive. Olive. Is that real? Hmm, that's nice. <clears throat> that is nice. All right, you know what? I'm going to take these all out and give them a good look over because I know there's two. There's two fakes in here, but I've only identified one right away. So I got to go do it. I got to go do it. I've only identified one. 
right down there. This All one. right, everybody. Sure. Thanks for joining me on this video. Trains and Hot Wheels. Wow. I love collecting, don't you? And please remember to check out all my videos, over 400 videos on YouTube for your watching pleasure. Stop by my website, toycarcollector.com, for all the toy cars that I have for sale. Thanks for watching. You have a great day and enjoy collecting, and I'll see you on the next one.